In this video, I'm going to focus on how to construct Pascal triangle and apply it to expand binomials. Let's start with the basics of how Pascal's triangle is constructed. Pascal's triangle is a rectangular array of binomial coefficients. Let's say we have a binomial a plus x exponent 0. The coefficient will be 1 since any number raised to the power 0 is 1. And if the binomial has an exponent of 1, the coefficients are 1, 1. If the binomial has an exponent of 2, we start with 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we end with 1. For an exponent of 3, we start with 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. Then we end with 1. For an exponent of 4, we start with 1. 1 plus 3, 4. 3 plus 3, 6. 3 plus 1, 4. Then we end with 1. So following this pattern, we can create the next coefficient, the next, and the next. Now let's see how we can apply Pascal's triangle to expand binomials. Expand the following binomial expressions using Pascal's triangle. So let's take the first one. We have 2x minus 3y exponent 3. Now let's refer to the Pascal's triangle for a binomial with an exponent of 3, the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, and 1. So we space them out. And the binomials, we have 2x and negative 3y. So we start by multiplying each coefficient by 2x. And again, we multiply each coefficient by negative 3y. Then we connect them with plus, plus, plus. With the first 2x, let's give it an exponent of 3, which is the exponent of the binomial. And we reduce it by 1. So the next 2x will have an exponent of 2, reduce it again to 1 and 0. And we give negative 3y over here an exponent of 3, reduce it to 2, 1 and 0. Two exponent three is eight, and the exponent of three will also affect the x since they are all in the bracket. And negative three y exponent zero is one. Any normal exponent zero is one. Negative three exponent one is negative three. So let's bring the negative out. We have three here. 2 exponent 2 is 4 and the square is also affecting the x. We've brought the negative out so we have 3y. Now negative 3 exponent 2 is positive 9 so we maintain the positive here. Bring this 3. 2x exponent 1 is still 2x and Negative 3 squared is 9, and the square is also affecting y. Negative 3 exponent 3 is negative 27, so we bring the negative out. We have 1 here, 2x exponent 0 is 1, and we have 27y cubed here. 
So 1 times 8x cubed times 1 is 8x cubed. And 3 times 4 times 3 is 36. x squared y. And 3 times 2 times 9 is 54 x y squared. And 1 times 1 times 27 is 27, then y cubed. So let's expand the second question. The exponent is 4, and for a binomial with an exponent of 4, the coefficients are 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So we multiply each coefficient by x. And again, we multiply each coefficient by 5y. And connect them with the addition sign. We give x an exponent of 4. Reduce it to 3 to 2, 1, and 0, and give 5y an exponent of 4, reduce it to 3, 2, 1, and 0. So we have 1 and x exponent 4, and any normal exponent 0 is 1. So we have x exponent 3 here, and 5y exponent 1 is still 5y. We have x squared here. 5 squared is 25. And the square is also affecting the y. So we have 4. x exponent 1 is x. 5 exponent 3 is 1, 2, 5. y cubed. We have 1 here, x exponent 0 is 1, and 5 exponent 4 is 6 to 5, and the exponent of 4 is also affecting the y. 1 times x exponent 4 times 1 is still x exponent 4, and 4 times 5 is 20 x cubed y. 6 times 25 is 150 x squared y squared. And 4 times 125 is 500 x y cubed. And here we have 625 y exponent 4. 